<laughs> so anyway, actually, on a more serious note, if you um, take a screwdriver and you open up the back of your monitor and you open up the back of your television, if you match the same colored wires to each other, you'll have to splice them open. So they're actually a really good technique to do this is to take a pair of scissors, clip the wires, and then if you hold the scissor open like you strip the wire down, you can tie the same two colors to each other. Now make sure you tape it close so you don't have any like loose connections because you don't want to short it out. And after you connect these two wires together, you should be able to like swing one behind because you're obviously going to be looking at your TV on your computer or your computer on your TV, whichever is, you know, the your preference. The better of this two situation, yeah. And then you throw the power switch and um, Windows, if you're using Windows 7, I know it's, it's still relatively new, but it should be able to accommodate what you're doing and automatically recognize it. There the, might be like a hardware TV, wizard. The TV NTSC signal from yeah. the, the television tube. Septic Avenger. It'll also go boodoo. <laughs> My cotillion schedule's already <laughs> filled up. I believe this is supposed to be a gay character. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> uh, he looks like an egg. <laughs> a big gay egg. Is this what I think it is? Septic Avenger. This is the worst particle effect ever. <laughs> it looks like a fountain of hot dogs. Yeah, traditionally, like, for a particle effect, it's like some sort of glittery sparkle or something that they use for, you know, enhancement effects. No. Chunky. It's like if you just took Mardi Gras and distilled it down to the basics. <laughs> <laughs> you got police involvement, you got everything covered in craft, and you got a parade. Yeah, no one can keep up with your lightning pace. So are you, Maxwell, are you driving or are you shitting? The, uh, driving is automatic. Yes. <laughs> What's the luck of that again? God damn it. <laughs> oh. Paperboy 2009. Yep. I can taste it in my mouth. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sounds like he wants just hose off. Say Maxwell was here. Spell it W U Z. <laughs> How do you get your shit on your house? <laughs> you Fill the pool! <laughs> Fill the pool! <laughs> He's running out, that poor man. He's stuck. Oh, it's like that Sims character. <laughs> you only got a hundred dollars? Yeah, but we got a lot of respect, though. Yeah. yeah you man. had fun. <laughs> Yo, man, you, you're totally the dude that spread shit everywhere. That was dope. Ah! The better question is, who builds a septic tank truck with a nozzle on top? <laughs> a man that's prepared for the future. <laughs> Looks like you're in a shitty situation. The game already supplies all the funds for you. Oh, uh, it stinks. <laughs> it's kind of a crap. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Okay. Did ghosts do that? <laughs> the game is yeah. just offended. <laughs> oh god, burning shit now. Wait, so you could hit something with enough shit that it'll blow up? <laughs> Explosive diarrhea. Wonderful! And I just want to play Power Stone too. 
And look at it as a shit cannon weapon. <laughs> There's a lot of shit that flies around in that game. <clears throat> okay, I think we've rubbed up the respectometer. Pretty good. <laughs> Why did it leave us off here? <laughs> Okay. Smells like a bathroom <laughs> toilet. <laughs> a bathroom. Every summer for years on humid days, this neighborhood <laughs> just won't smell right. You all know about the Boston molasses disaster? Yes. Apparently, like, it took, like, 70 years for the molasses <laughs> smell to go away. <laughs> and on hot summer days, sometimes people say you can still smell a little sugar. <laughs> Still haunted by the spirit of molasses. Oh, no, no not this again. No, no, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that damned river. The sinkhole is like oh, a magnet. Oh, damn river. You old damn river. You just keep trolling away. So what's the mission? Uh, throw flashbangs at these guys. Is that actually the mission, or are you lying to us? Pretty sure it's actually the mission. Oh. Oh. I should have infiltrated these guys. You should have what? Infiltrated. Yeah. Come all green on green, and like, hey, I'm one of you. How are you doing, fellow Steve ruffians? Friends. Can I borrow all your bullets for a second? <laughs> I have a cool trick to show you. Wow, those sure are nice guns. Can I see them all at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Here, pile them into my hands. I've done that in games like Fallout. Just go around the whole area and buy everybody's bullets. <laughs> Does that work? Uh, not Fallout 3, no, but the earlier Fallout games, you could do that sometimes. <laughs> I'm the bullet baron. <laughs> And then they had nothing what to fight he, back with. Huh? He's carrying trash. Yes. Garbage day! <laughs> uh, this is the place to be, I believe. It's the beer store. Getting some guns. Okay. You got something. Yeah, I gotta use explosives to blow something up. There's a guy shooting you. That or it's a girl. a girl, it's a lady guy. <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp. It's one of those penisless mans I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> I never pick up on that. Uh, th th there's a... Somebody's stealing your car. This is a joke from Bayonetta we forgot to recycle. How many, uh... Buckles and straps, do you think Bina has on her dick? Uh, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> if they've learned anything from anime slash Final Fantasy, it's the more buckles and bangles you have, the more badass you are. What's a bangle? It's like a. It's like an amulet for your clothes. Yeah. Uh, it's like a catch all term for like metal thing on your clothing. Just something to pair with buckle. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I feel like I should put bullets into this thing over here. Pilgrims had buckles on their hats. Does that make them badass? Well, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Nobody really wanted to fuck with the Puritans. If you remember. I'm here. So he blow this shit up. <sighs> Yeah, great plan. Hey, let's go sail into the continent and let all but five of our women die. They got kicked out of... where did they settle first? Before? Holland. Yeah, they got kicked out of Holland. How much of a dick do you have to be to get kicked out of Holland? <laughs> they didn't get kicked out, they left. Yeah, they sort of like... it was like a don't let the door hit you on the way out sort of situation. <laughs> they just, they were afraid that their kids were going to get too chill and relaxed. It was like reverse xenophobia. 
<laughs> uh, that'll do it. That'll there we go. Pink. That'll do. I'm resourceful. You know how people hate when you come to America and you don't speak English? Yeah. They hated that they went to another country and their children started speaking Dutch. Which proves how much of an uptight asshole culture <laughs> they were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right in the junk. This is working well. The History Channel taught me that the pilgrims thought that Christmas was too big. And... <laughs> they probably thought that brushing your teeth was too big. <laughs> uh, they did think showers were too big. And... Yep. They didn't bathe themselves for a while. Do they even know what showers were? I'm sure Squanto had to show them. 